marking up James's kit, I'll show you what's happening here. So kick drum, I've got two mics in there, there's an Audix D6 and a uh, Sennheiser plate mic. So uh, on the snare drum we have a, a Bayer M201 and underneath an Audix i5, Audix D2s on the toms. Usually I'll go D2 or M MD421s because they sound really nice. I've mic'd up the overheads, I've got Bayer MC930s uh, and KM184 Neumanns on the china and the hat. Like I don't know if you want to have a look around or whatever, maybe not. <laughs> well, I first uh, knew uh, Bo McKee as a drummer and a very good drummer. The band he was in went uh, to the US to play on the Warp Tour and I was just blown away. I was so impressed. We're gonna go from there, okay? So this is a uh, Stereo Peluso uh, condenser microphone, which has two mic capsules in it, and we're using it as a room mic, so it's gonna capture everything that's happening in the room. Up here, we have a Decatree uh, setup, which we're gonna to use to capture the ambience of the entire room. As you can see, it's a pretty big room, so we're going for a, a massive drum sound. So we've, we've chosen to use the Pearl Reference, um, we were considering using the DW for a little bit, but um, the Pearl Reference just is designed really nicely. It uses a, a combination of different woods, so it sounds really big and punchy, and we're going for like a big rock sound. spend all this time practicing writing songs and it's nice to know that uh, when you record them they're going to sound the way you want them to sound. Bo's a real musician. Um, yeah, he, I don't know, he understands how, how you feel when you're doing it so he just knows how to encourage and when to push and yeah, to get a, the best take possible out of you. James is a really solid drummer, so it's good. We can focus on the smaller details, like um, flammed hits and that sort of thing. Sounds awesome. Basically, we just ran through the preamps and the Harrison console, which gives, gives it a, a bigger, punchier sort of sound. And then I'm running it through the transient designers just to tidy up each drum so I can control the sustain and attack of each drum. I'd, I'd regard that as a really good hit. It's got plenty of transient, which is what you want. So at the moment, uh, James has just finished tracking drums and we're just going through and getting drum samples of each drum. So kick, snare, tom, floor tom. Oh, that was solid. That was a really solid take. Coming to a room of this magnitude and this design with vintage mics and, you know, just a, a room that sounds beautiful, it's, it's just another whole new game. Nice, I felt you pull it back there. That was good, that was good. It was just like one hit, it was a bit weak. But it wasn't, that one, that wasn't too bad though. I'm in this new studio and have access to this new space. Um, I think um, the plan is to use it a lot more and uh, I, I think that bands are really gonna love this. It just changes things. Mm -hmm. 